What's up guys, this is Project and welcome back to my playthrough of Elden Ring. Last episode we, I think we took down the dragon and then we met a certain somebody, I won't spoil it, but go watch that episode if you want to know who. But today we just got an update on the 23rd, which is supposedly going to make it smoother, I don't know. Um, looking back at some of the recordings, the frame rate wasn't that good, but that could be a combination of my OBS and the game running bad, but hopefully it runs better now. Now, I did hear that it actually changes the scalings of some weapons. So, last episode, we got Reduvia. We could have used Reduvia. Now we can't. <laughs> it's no longer Dex Faith. It is now Dex Arc. So, I guess it's more appropriate. So, Arc is based around bleeding and poison. And, yeah, now we can't use this weapon. And before, I was just testing around, just kind of like lollygagging. Uh, when I was trying to upload the uh, episodes. And testing this thing out, this thing's broken. This might be the best weapon you can get early on. As far as the, what I've discovered anyways. Um, the bleed is so good on this. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, we can't use it anymore. Rip. <laughs> so today I'm going to go to the, the... What's it called? The round table? As well as the stone... Stone golem place. Which is supposed to be over here. Somewhere. I missed it. I think it's over here. I think I marked it. But I went back to watch the CNT and I looked it up. <laughs> it's over here. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. Cool. Can't see. Don't need a shield. I can't immediately tell if it's better. But it seems like it's smoother. We'll see how long that holds up. I'm not sure if that's the day one patch or if it's just like an in-between patch. I don't know. I forgot if it went this way. No, I didn't. I think I ended with uh, that cave. So what is over here? Jellyfish. Ooh. Are they friendly? Oh, yeah. But what if I hit them? Oh, all of them turn red. <laughs> Maybe they have items. Or nothing. Oh. What was this way? Oh, I can't check the map. I guess that kind of sucks that you can't check the map if you are in combat. Did we go here? Yeah, we did. I think that was the, the cat. Because otherwise it'd be closed, I think. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh. Village. What else is around here? Oh snap, what are those? Oh, bears. Cool. Oh. I think the Uchigatana is probably the strongest starting weapon, to be honest. Or just maybe just bleed in general. Hefty Beast Bone. Is there any items on these rocks? Some kind of dragonfly there. Doesn't seem like it. At least in this game, your character actually sort of looks like your actual customized character. Sort of. <laughs> there was a house over here, right? Was that... Oh, more bears. 
Hello, Dragonfly. Yeah. Well, you don't have to kill all the animals, right? <laughs> Let's not upset PETA more than we should. Still frame drops, though. though. Ooh. Oh, it's this place. Where's this at? That's way over here? I thought it was closer over here. Another grease. And the painting. I guess we can do that quest too as well. I believe that's where I'm gonna go anyways. Near the water. Artist Shack. Homing Instinct painting. Oh yeah, I did change my resolution in the game to 1080p, I believe. Right? Just to sort of make the recording smoother, perhaps. So what I pick up? Oh yeah, I can make these. Or did I pick up anything? I don't know. <laughs> I got distracted. What is this? Is this him? Oh! Yes! Smithing stone location. I finally got two now. <laughs> Seven hours deep, I finally got two smithing stones. Sick. Now we can upgrade our weapon. Finally. All right, Torrent. Uh, let's go back. This place is so big. I'm definitely going to miss a lot of stuff on my first playthrough, I'm sure. As I'm sure most people are. So as I'm, as I'm talking right now, the reviews have came, uh, come out. And people are giving it, like, the best game of the year. Best game of the generation. Best Dark Souls, Souls-like game. Um, and all I'm, ha all I'm having in common is that it's, it's too big. <laughs> There's so much to explore. So that's a that's a really cool thing. What's that over there? Let me just explore this little part and then we'll go uh fight the troll. I hear something. Oh. Oh. Oh, somber smithy stone. Oh, that's cool though. That exploded. Oh, another grace. Wow, that's really close. Why? There's just one over there. Yep. The game feels smoother though, I think. Right? What's another... Actually, let me get this first. And then I'll get the grace. What do you have? Nothing. Oh, maybe I've been here before. It is going back this way. You guys got over here. Nothing. Okay, so where was that grace at? Over here, right? they put it here because you have a grace down here mm. a 
And that goes back to the invader. Okay. I guess we'll go this way. Or here? No, not here. There we go. Let's try to find that painter's thing. I believe that was close over here. I don't think I went this way, actually. Ooh, item. Careful. A little closer. Oh, another smithing stone. Wow, dude. I had... <laughs> After all this time, wandering all around here, I had a smithy stone right here that I missed. Oh, well, we still have FPS drops. It's like a, like a 14, 15 FPS drop sometimes. But for the most part, it seems smooth. So, painter guy is not over here. Aha! It's here. Oh. Cool. Incantation scarab. Ooh. Oh, can I actually cast miracles now for once? Is that what that is? Please. I want to cast something. <laughs> Helmet? Nani? Golden scarab worn directly on the head. These scarabs roll clumps of incantations during their labors. Slightly reduces the FP cost of incantations, but increases damage taken. As the scare approaches death, it abandons, abandons its royal treasure and stretches its wings wide of the long, for the long journey to its home nest. Oh, how does that look, though? Obviously, I have no advantage. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> That's a helmet? That's sick, dude. I like the wings. They're kind of like ears. That's a cool helmet, but... You take more damage. <laughs> Maybe for a challenge run or something, someone can wear that. If they really like pain. Well, that was worth it. Alright, to the stone troll golem. And then we'll upgrade our weapon over there, I think. Oh, maybe you can't. We'll get the, the grace and then warp. So we beat the dragon. What's over here? Oh, big old crabbo. Hmm. So no item, just Trino's Lily. But man, even in 1080p, this game looks really good. Okay, we can get rid of this landmark now. Aha! This is what I wanted the whole time. But now I already got my, I can upgrade now, so. <laughs> We'll see if we can get, like, plus two maybe from here. There is a downward thing you can jump on. I guess we could take this first. Let's go down first. Let me see if the grace is down here. Yeah. 
just in case I fall and die. <laughs> Actually, let's just upgrade too. I don't think we can do it here though. Ooh. Is this better? It's worse right now. What? Oh, we can't travel? We'll just exit and travel. <laughs> That's kind of lame. I think you should be able to travel if you're in one of these dungeons. Because now I can travel. The map. Ugh, finally. More damage. I'm gonna need six, I think, stones. Too bad we can't use online when we have the preview. And these guys are usually weak to Pierce. Mm. Can't tell. What? Wow. Oh, that reached me, but mine's didn't. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are resistant to slash. Can I get my stab off? Should we use the old flail? Oh wait, we can use this. Wow. Okay, so this is the this is the spot you want to go to first, for sure. This dungeon right here, so you can get as many stones as you can and upgrade your weapon. Because I just spent seven hours at plus zero. When I could have easily had like a plus one or two. Another stone. Oh, pickaxe. Sweet. So I came from that way. Uh oh. Gravitas is not good. <laughs> I'd rather have the uh, normal weapon art. Okay, another smithing stone. Maybe I'll make a video about that. Some smithing stone locations early on. Which you'll probably see before you see this episode, to be honest. I think this is towards the box, if I remember. Is there a place you can drop down? No. Oh! There's a ledge there. Ooh. 
glintstone. Meet the glintstones. Have a yabba dabba doo da. Come on, Scooby. Oh! Oh, hyper armor! Dark Souls 3, where are you? Whoa! Relax, buddy! You gonna run out of attacks? Okay, almost dead down here. <laughs> Let's try the mace, because it seemed to work good against the other guys. The crystal guys. Let's see. One shot? Ooh. Another smithy stone. Brat. <gasps> Another smithy stone. Ooh. So how many is that? That we just found right now. That I could have had way early on. Seven. So now I have enough plus for uh, plus two. Uchi Katana. And there was nothing over here? No. Which side was this on? This way. Yep. The old circle backstab. Glintstone scrap. And these are magic attacks, right? Let's try using one. See how it does. Against this guy. Oh! Ow! Oh! <gasps> Bomber. Whoa! Yeah, so take a blunt weapon with you when you go here. Oh, explosive stone clump. And then... Smithing stone! Number eight! And number nine, smithing stone. Wow! Look at that. I wonder if those respawn. I doubt it. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be broken. But what if they did? Was this place always this intricate? So something's definitely probably there. Oh, here's the boss. Which obviously we won't take on right now. But I'll check the check around here. Haha. -ha. And the number nine or ten smithing stone here. Well, let me not go there. <laughs> I might die though if I try to if I try to go for one of these ledges. Oh, wait, can I even? Ooh. No fall damage. Okay, okay. Oh, an item. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, nice. Well, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> Golden rune. What about this thing? Oh, oh, somber. Somber smithy stone. Cool. What does that do again? Special armaments. With unique characteristics cannot be strengthened with color smithing stones. So is that boss weapons? Or unique weapons, I guess?
So maybe Katana is not going to be good here against the Golem. I think I bounce off of him, right? I'm not going to waste upgrades on the weapons, but... We might have to use a plus zero anyways to beat it. And was anything over here? Oh, gotten. Wait. Hello? Is there no <laughs> lever? Well, I guess we die. <laughs> There's a way back. One way trip. Maybe. Oh, nice. Okay. Woo. Well, let's press that lever right away. So where do we start from? So not this way. from up oh. did I go this way oh yeah the rats okay now I need to do I need to take the staircase from the grace I think there's some ledges up there too. And we'll just rush the boss. Uh, I guess I could risk it. Ooh. Close one. Any enemies? Golden Rune 4. I think that was the only ledge. Oh! There's a ledge there. Took that ledge. Or is this just the top? Oh no, we took the other ledge. Okay. How am I supposed to get there though? Nothing here. <laughs> Jebaited. Okay.
All right, let's heal and clap this boss. Dang, 30 minutes already passed? Wow. Yeah, this game's gonna be hard to cover with a walkthrough. But luckily I'm just gonna stream the rest of the playthrough. Because uploading hour-long episodes takes like three hours <laughs> with my internet. Not so fast. I don't know how I'm going to do against the golem guy because in CNT I killed him with co-op people. So I don't know how hard he's going to be solo. I believe he was this way. Oh. Can they pull the lever? No, okay. <laughs> Actually, what? I can't activate it. I was gonna say, I could put the lever back up so I don't have to do it if I die, but oh well. So for this guy, we can test out the new dog, right? We did get a doggo. All right, let's test out this rotten stray. kind of hard to hit sometimes like you'll do an r1 oh he's rotted oh he's poisoned ah! oh oh <laughs> okay this dog is pretty strong i didn't know you get poisoned though roar medallion oh we don't get the katana but yeah the the critical thing is kind of hard to do I went in front of his face and pressed R1 and I just did a normal swing. Oh, yep, that's the troll golem. And that's the power of summons. I'm gonna try to take medallion out right now. And then we'll go to that place, the hub, right after this. Maybe there's people with more stones there. So medallion here enhances roars and breath attacks. Nani, a bronze medallion depicted a roaring giant enhances roars. In ancient times, the giants are mortal enemies of the Erd Tree. Their bellowing roars desolated nature, triggered avalanches, and whipped up storms of flame. Roars and breath attacks. That's weird. <laughs> Maybe the dragon breath. Uh. Incantation. Let's go over here. Well, actually, let's wait to the table thing. Maybe they, I can upgrade there. All right. Some NPCs. Let's go. Tell you're off to the round table hole. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to fade out together with particle effects and stuff. 
The Round Table Hold is a place where tarnished gather, guided by grace. Combat is prohibited on the premises due to a pact of non-aggression. This rule is in effect when the Round Table icon is displayed. The Round Table Hold is located outside of this world. Huh? It can only be reached through Sites of Grace, outside of this world. It can only be accessed by using the map to travel. Close. Oh yeah, I can't press R1. Ooh. That's a big old side of gray, so... Can I jump on the table? I have no manners. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> can I sit down? Rest at Table of Lost Grace. Oh. Well, this should have made you sit, though, right? Um, I think we're good. Whoa, profit! Oh, he's got the wheel thing. And he's blindfolded. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the round table hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, <gasps> and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. I don't see it. Ah, well, that is unfortunate. But no cause for despair. It's likely a temporary condition, I'm told. <laughs> for whatever reason, it happens from time to time. So that means I can teach you Just spells? Keep your chin up and stay the path. I pray the great guidance of grace returns to you. Oh, it's probably to talk to him again. What is it? Has the... Yes, I do see it. Wonderful I, I, I open my eyes. I blinked last time. I couldn't days. see it, but now I can see it. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Oh. Oh. But where's the catalyst? Urgent heal. Heal. Heals a small amount. Heals HP for self and nearby allies. I think this was the stronger one, right? Cure poison. Magic fortification increases magic damage negation. Uh oh. Int users. Flame rejection. Oh, force. Nice. Catch flame. So, combustion. Originating from a sinister prophecy. Momentary sparks frame the caster's hand. The flame of ruin is anathema to the Erd tree. But prophets sometimes glimpse it. It within the fate of all, all the same. Sadly, when this occurs, their sole reward is banishment. And flame sling. The flame of ruin is in a... Oh, same thing. Okay. Throws a fireball. May the golden order shine through you. So in this game, uh, firemancies are now just incantations too. A further study of incantations, is it? I can happily spare the time and applaud your enthusiasm. May the golden order... And who are you? I don't believe we've met. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death. Oh, that's a and sick armor set. Death route. Heed my warning. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. Those who live in death all the more. I can't aim it up. That's a sick armor set. <laughs> it's got like an extra head and he's like holding it. Are these items different? What's that? Oh no, the same. Ah, hello. 
He must be new here. Ooh, cool armor set. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've lost count of the number of times I've had to find her like this. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. Tomboy? Oh, I just broke the chairs. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, that back posture. True gamer. <laughs> oh, this is a rare occasion. That's a cool staff. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. That's a cool... It is safe here. You may let down your guard. What was the... The main enemy in uh, Lord of the Rings? That looks like his helmet, right? Allow me a word of advice. Saruman? As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, <clears throat> newcomer. There's nothing left. There's... There's nothing left to say. Oh. Huh. Okay. So I spawn like right here. Where should we go? Maybe not that way. Let's try that over here. Oh. What the hell? What? Oh. What do you want, Jester? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Jojo pose. Yare yare. Anything else? What if I do it back to him? Will he get mad? Oh! Let's see. No? Like the Bloodborne gesture trick? Seems not. And a few words. Oh. Oh, that's a lion dude, I think. But didn't he get killed in the beginning? I think they killed him. He was on a on a tree or whatever. Pinned to a tree. Whoa! Twin Maiden Husk. Whoa! That's a lot of... <gasps> yes! Finger Seal. Finally, we can cast a... <laughs> Short Spear. Any... Rapier Dagger. Another Stone Sword Key. Three of them. Battle Axe. Furled Fingers Trick Mirror. Take on an appearance of a host of fingers. <gasps> oh, snap. PvP items. So co-op guys can look like the hosts. And sort of trick invaders. Oh, and hosts can look as a cooperator. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Blue Cypher Ring. When invaded, request the aid of a hunter. Answers the request of, from hunters. We'll try that. How much runes do I have? So that's the blue phantom thing. 
Use the blue cipher ring, you'll make yourself open to summons for rescue for other worlds. And defeat the invaders together. Let's try power stancing, because that's what my whole build was going to be. But I haven't been able to do it, because I haven't been able to get double weapons. So let's just let's get the scimitar. Curved sword with a single-sided blade delivers slashing attacks. Smaller in size than most curved swords, it carves into enemies quick with sharp cuts. And actually, let's use some of the runes. Is there only a, thing, a way to like skip this cutscene? Wish they just skipped it. Or like didn't close the menu when you used it. Well, the next episode, we'll try that underground passage or whatever. Ooh, memory stone. A black, lightly beguiling stone, prized by the sorcerers who produced them. Increases memory slots. So now you can cast more spells, and this is how you get more slots. So to be a fragment of the black moon that once hung above the eternal city. Now we are broke. However, we have uh, three spell slots now. I haven't found many spells, to be honest. I need 17 faith and 13 arc. So I do want to try this out, so I am going to pump arc a little bit. And if we do that, we can use the uh, Reduvia. So maybe I should get a dagger. It's got 13 arc, too. Does she sell the dagger? I think she did, right? <gasps> yes, just enough. But now I have no <laughs> souls to level up, though. What's in here? Nothing? Okay. Probably opens up later or something. So what is this bell thing? No bell bearing to offer. So is this empty close to? Huh? Oh, it's in. So we got upstairs. We got this way. Oh, blacksmith. Oh, sick armor set. This place is big. More NPCs. Who's that? Ooh, what is this guy? All oh, the troll guys, I guess. Your new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like. Got no money though. <laughs> Ashes of War. Ash of War duplication. Oh, I don't got an item though. So you can duplicate Ashes of War. That's kind of sick. About the chains in your legs. Well, I didn't even notice them. I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. Whoa, look at the axe! Trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fool. Strength chat. That's all there is to it. No, don't read too much into it. But I've no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. In time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Her? Can we sell anything? 
Is there like something that just you sell? <laughs> like the nuggets in Pokemon or something? Grants the blessing. Back already. No matter. Okay, nothing else. Nothing here. What is down here? Oh? Opens later. But what about this? Opens later. But oh, ooh! I didn't know that. Let's go to the last room over there, though. We can unlock that with the stone keys. Where is it at? This way. Ooh. Marika. <laughs> I think it breaks stuff still, though. Hello. Just destroyed your books, your Harry Potter collection. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances oh. have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Money? Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Yes. Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Oh! Should I refuse? Let's try refusing. Or is that... I understand. Your disdain is only natural. But should you change your mind, come pay me another visit. Oh. Oh. My dear. Oh my dear. I had a change of heart already. Yes. <laughs> I thought about it for two seconds, and I, I like that hug. Oh, my thanks, great champion. Wait, I should took my armor off. <laughs> Honey? You are very warm. You are too. Baldachin's blessing. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me. Should you require another, I will take you in my arms as often as you need. Oh snap, true waifu. I'm no longer made in this. She's right here. Whoa! See if we can see the eyeballs. Almost. Come on, controller. Oh. <laughs> I think I could do the reverse. Oh, I can. Oh, there's a face. Oh. Dang it. Oh, it disappears when I get close. That's kind of cool. Pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Yes. The blessing is still aflame in your breast, dear. Would you it's like a flame to somewhere else? Regardless. Now, somewhere lower. Come closer. <laughs> you are so <laughs> like a little very baby. <laughs> Oh! Digital dialogue. Talking secret. No one's around. Deathbed champion. Or companion. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay <laughs> with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life to do so is the purpose of my being but before i could bear the noble into new life i was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace pray be kind despite all that i still wish to be a deathbed companion so please let me hold you like this as often as it takes then good day to you my dear good day to you <laughs> okay that was worth it we got some hugs See, that's what we gotta do more often. We gotta hug each other. Hmm. Oh, let's go down there. For the keys. Let us see what's behind fog door number one. cool lighting for like a thumbnail <laughs> dun 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 <laughs> straight cheeks <laughs> okay what is that four thousand dollar key worth let's see yeah oh Krippus is black key crossbow and black key bowl oh archer chads Go here. Can't use it though. Black crossbow featuring a long stock used for sniping. It has a very long range. Weapon of the Creepus. Or Creepus. Crepus. Who served the two fingers from the shadows of the round table as the head confessor. And you get a kick. Oh, the kick from uh, the no handed kick? Pushing enemy back with a high kick. Can break the guard. Okay. Well, I got like bunch of keys I mean if they all give items might as well look another item oh that's the last one though okay so that's a video maybe like early game weapons I want to make a video about that the best early game weapons to get within Limgrave and let's see chest number two Nipples. <gasps> Purple. Oh, Assassin's Prayer Book. Key item. Give to a learned cleric to acquire new incantations. Can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to the following incantations. Assassin's Approach and Darkness. Necro comic. Necro, what's it called? <laughs> Necro Comic Con. 
Cool. And how much keys do I have left? I should have a few, right? Oh, only got one left. Just enough for that one at the tutorial area. All right, let me finish exploring this area. Actually, uh... Should I give it to this guy? Further study of incantations, is it? I can happily spare the time. That is a work of heresy. Oh. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Erd Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> Oh, darkness. Creates area of darkness that conceals the caster. Oh, sick. Smoke bomb, basically. Incantation of the two finger servants who served as the assassins of the round table hold. Creates a veil of darkness that conceals the caster. This incantation can be cast while in motion or crouching. The assassins were themselves once tarnished who had strayed from the guidance and to pursue the dirty duty in the darkness that is without grace. And you need 18 fate. Too bad again, Tess anything. <laughs> May the golden order shine through you. Okay, so I think I covered everything. Let's see, can I go here? Oh, I can. What was over here, I guess? We went that way. Oh. Oh! <gasps> oh, is this a boss or something? I thought I'd be blocked off. Oh! Oh, my armor! Invaded. Oh! Reverential. He's a caster. Oh, the boat! Ah, right when I heal. Oh, is this frostbite? Oh, the backstab. Wow, okay. Whoa! <laughs> but it seems beatable. What do we respawn here? Sources and incantations. You can memorize sorceries. Must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries and a sacred teal. So you need a uh, these little guys to cast. But I mean, I have no spells equipped, so I can't really cast anything, anyways. That's kind of cool, though. Duel? I'm not honorable. <laughs> so you can just run past these. Oh, not so you get cornered. Whoa, what was that? Frost uh, bite does. 
Oh, 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 oh. Ow, ow. <gasps> okay, scythes are pretty good. Ow. Oh. And it has bleed? Oh, yeah, it does have bleed. So bleed and frostbite. That's a sick weapon. Do I get that if I beat it? We're at the hour mark. We'll try it two more times. See if we can beat in this episode. Otherwise, we'll just save it for next episode. Okay, so he does a little bow gesture. We can just backstab him. <laughs> but what's over here? So I'll check that next time. Hurry up, make it in time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. <laughs> cool weapon, though. And spell. Man tongue, Alberich. Tauncher's tongue. Didn't get his weapon, though. Is the exit? No. I like how I bowed as if it was a duel. <laughs> this ain't no duel, Miyazaki! Although this would be a cool room to have duels in. Maybe they can make that a feature in the future. Something like this. I don't like the Dark Souls 3, the weird outside duel thing. This seems cooler. Oh. Is there an item over here? I guess we still got the outside area, right? Hole? for Pata. This guy's burning to Chris. Isn't that a thing? Or that's a, that was a thing I, re I remember seeing. Where like people like combust into flames when they're sleeping or something like that. I don't know if that was real or fake, but it, that was like on one of the TV shows I seen. Way back, years ago. Uh... It's a weapon. Whoa. Fist. Nani? 30 faith. Uh-oh. What is this? One of the weapons originating from the two fingers. A formless sequence of ciphers comprise its blade. And it's such no shield can repel it. Oh, snap. You can't block it. It's like the weapon from Demon Souls. I forgot what it's called. Hiltless? No. Something. Something. Something like this. The furtive inscription appears to hang in the air, the language of the light spoken by the two fingers. Unblockable blade. And be the cipher blade with the light, then lunge forward with a sudden piercing attack. It cannot be blocked. I'll say, so only the weapon art. I assume. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's sick. Oh! Ho -ho. Lightsabers? <laughs> R2? Jumping. That's cool. Running. So standard fist move set. Oh, I like the. That's new. Oh. Oh what? 
Oh, so you two hand and you get both and Wow, you get a power stance move set. So those two are twos. So it seems like it can't really follow up the weapon arts too much with other attacks. They have like a little delay. Well, these things are sick. So if you went full faith build, you probably can't use them anyways by the time you reach here. <laughs> well, those are cool. Eventually. Oh yeah, we're gonna power stance, right? We're gonna use the old falchions. I'll do the daggers as soon as I can get uh, arc to 13. So your L1 attacks are double attacks, basically. Cool little side area. And then I think we just got outside. That's the last thing to see. And then we can call it an episode. What is out here? Oh! Or I guess not. <laughs> so how do I leave here? Just like that, that easy. Oh, okay. Cool, but yeah, that's gonna be the episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next episode, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We're just gonna, I guess, run around and see see what's out there in the open world. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like on the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more Elden Ring epicness.